in standard 9th science and technology part 1st chapter number 12 study of sound the numerical example solved from this exercise is question number 5d hydrogen gas is filled in two identical bottles bottle a and bottle b at the same temperature that means temperature will be same in both the cases the mass of hydrogen gas in the two bottles is 12 grams and 48 grams respectively in which bottle will the sound travel faster and how many times as fast as in the other okay mitranno ya tikani don saman akar manacha a ani b अशा बॉटल्स मध्य हाइड्रोजन गैस भर ले तापमान सामान चाहिए बॉटल ए मध्य बारह ग्रैम इतका हाइड्रोजन भर ले बॉटल बी मधे अठेच ग्रैम इतका हाइड्रोजन भर लेकी को बॉटल मधुन ध्वनि जास्त वेगा प्रवास करेल तो कि प्रमाण प्रश्न है now given data is mass of hydrogen gas in bottle a that is m1 is equal to 12 g mass of hydrogen gas in bottle b is m2 that is 48 g therefore we can conclude that m2 is equal to 4 into m1 ya 12 cha char pat ahe manun 4 into m1 okay now as we know that v is directly proportional to the square root of the temperature of the gas v is inversely proportional to the square root of the pressure and v is inversely proportional to the square root of the mass of the gas by taking these points into consideration we can combine them and we can form the formula like this v is proportional to the square root of temperature divided by pressure into mass therefore we can take a constant of proportionality gamma and then we will consider it like this v is equal to gamma into square root of temperature divided by pressure into mass and now we will go further now we will consider only the temperature and mass of the gas which are filled in the bottles therefore in case of bottle a v1 will depend on the factor that is gamma into square root of temperature divided by mass of the gas that is m1 this will be equation number 5 in case of bottle b velocity in that bottle that is v2 is equal to gamma into square root of temperature divided by m2 now we know that m2 is equal to 4 m1 putting that value we will get v2 is equal to gamma into square root of temperature divided by 4 into m1 now dividing this equation by this equation that means dividing 5 by 7 then we will get v1 divided by v2 is equal to gamma into square root of temperature divided by m1 divided by gamma into square root of temperature divided by 4 m1 now we will get v1 divided by v2 is equal to this gamma present in numerator gamma present in denominator will both cancel each others therefore we will get into square root t divided by t into 4 m1 divided by m1 it will be taken into the numerator therefore now t divided by t will get cancelled m1 divided by m1 will get cancelled therefore we will get v1 divided by v2 is equal to square root of 4 now taking the square root we will get v1 divided by v2 is equal to 2 that means now taking this v2 to the right hand side we will get v1 is equal to 2 into v2 that means sound will travel faster in bottle a 
and it will travel twice the speed than that in the bottle B. V2 cha tulnet V1 cha speed double asil. Mitrano, yadikani aplala pahela miril ki a bottle made jo hydrogen gas ahe, tetsa pramana he, bara gram, it ko vastuman get lila he, and hydrogen gas jo B bottle made bar lila, tetsa vastuman ahe, a teacher is gram. Manjets M2 borrower char M1. Anima aplala kahi relations mahite, and the relations ahe, dhunita weg, vayucha tapmanacha, vergamulacha sama pramana asil. त्याच बरोबर ध्वनीचा वेग वायुमधील दाबाच्या वर्गमूलाच्या व्यस्त प्रमाणामध्ये असेल आणि या ठिकाणी वायुमधील ध्वनीचा वेग हा त्याच्या वस्तुमानाच्या वर्गमूलाच्या व्यस्त प्रमाणामध्ये असेल आता ह्या सर्वांचं एकत्रित सूत्र आपण म्हटलं तर ते आपल्याला मिळतं की वायुमधील ध्वनीचा वेग हा तापमान छेद दाब गुणिले वस्तुमान यांच्या वर्गमूळाच्या समप्रमाणात असेल म्हणून आता या ठिकाणी आपण v बरोबर गॅमा म्हणजे स्थिरांक घेतलेला आहे वर्गमूळात t छेद p गुणिले m अशा प्रकारचं सूत्र आपल्याला मिळतं आता यानंतर बॉटल a मध्ये v1 आहे त्याची गती असेल गॅमा गुणिले वर्गमूळ T छेद M1 त्यानंतर बॉटल B मध्ये V2 बरोबर गॅमा गुणिले वर्गमूळ T छेद M2 M2 ची किंमत माहिती आहे 4M1 म्हणून आपण ती किंमत या ठिकाणी घेऊ आणि मग V2 बरोबर गॅमा गुणिले वर्गमूळ T छेद 4M1 हे सूत्र मिळेल आणि मग आता या 5 ला 7 ने जर भागलं तर आपल्याला गणित असं मिळतं V1 गॅमा गुणिले वर्गमूळ T छेद M1 छेद गॅमा गुणिले वर्गमूळ T छेद 4 M1 आता गॅमा आणि गॅमा अंशातील आणि छेदातील यांचा भाग जाईल मग शिल्लक राहतं V1 छेद V2 बरोबर वर्गमूळ चिन्हामध्ये T छेद T गुणिले 4 M1 हा अंशामध्ये जाईल आणि M1 छेदामध्ये येईल म्हणून 4 M1 छेद M1 तर मग पुढे या सर्वांचा भाग जाईल t t यांचा भाग जाईल m1 आणि m1 यांचा भाग जाईल आणि त्यामुळे शेवटी शिल्लक राहतं v1 छेद v2 बरोबर वर्गमूळात 4 वर्गमूळ काढल्यानंतर आपल्याला उत्तर मिळतं v1 छेद v2 बरोबर 2 म्हणजे मग बॉटल a मध्ये जो ध्वनीचा वेग आहे तो बॉटल b मध्ये असलेल्या वेगाच्या दुप्पट आहे a मध्ये गती जास्त आणि B मधे जितकी आहे त्याचा दुपट आशी तेची गती असेल धन्यवाद